Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, well, welcome, welcome! My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that is okay, because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, reactive, dehydrated, and sometimes, depending on the season, it can also be combination. Whew, that was one take. Okay, so here's the deal. I tried Legomes products back in 2021, and I guess that's when they became more accessible on a global scale, meaning that they were actually selling outside of South Korea. And back then, they only had I believe a few products to sell and I think it was like the moisturizer, the mist toner, and cleanser I think. But now they have so many more products and they actually launched two new sunscreens which I'm really excited to try. In this video I'm going to review one of their new sunscreens and then in one of my YouTube shorts you will find the other sunscreen review. That's just me trying to get you to watch some of my YouTube shorts because I do put some effort into those and I feel like those are not performing as well as they should. So thank you so much for watching and checking out my YouTube shorts. Okay, what is Legome? Who is Legome? What are they about? Legome ultimately is a very minimalist skincare brand from their packaging to the formulations. Their name comes from the Swedish word Legome, which means just the right amount. And then this is translated to Legome's slogan, which is not too little, not too much. Full disclosure, not gonna lie, this is not an affordable skincare brand. At least I don't see them as affordable at all. The founder of this brand had one customer in mind, and it is the city dweller who works in the stressful environment of the corporate world. That used to be me, I'm no longer in that category, thank God. To be very honest, I feel like after I finish using these products, I will not be able to afford buying more of them. But with that said, if you do have the funds and the budget to splurge on very bougie and I guess high-end skincare routines, I highly recommend Legome as a brand and also their products. But of course, keep watching this video if you want to find out which ones I liked, which ones I did not like as much. On this channel, I review a Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. This is not a sponsored video. These are products that I actually accumulated through the years, from giveaway prizes to small impulsive purchases. I say small, but it's actually like a big impulsive purchase because these are not cheap. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experiences. If you have any serious skin concerns, please consult your trusted dermatologist or esthetician. As usual, I will present these products in the way that I would use them in a skincare routine. With that being said, let's go! Urikata. So the first product I want to share with you is the Legome Cell Up Gel to Water Cleanser. This is a morning gel cleanser, I repeat, this is a morning gel cleanser. It does not remove sunscreen or makeup very well, so that's why I claim this to be a morning gel cleanser. Legome created this super gentle water-based cleanser to help us remove the dust and pollutants that our skin collects overnight. And of course, this is a very soft, gentle cleanse. It's not stripping at all. Most of us do not actually need to cleanse our skin in the morning. A simple rinse with water is more than enough, but for oily skin, we actually want to cleanse our skin just at least a little because we do collect a lot more dust because of our oily skin and the excessive oils and the buildups overnight and on top of that with the dust can really clog our pores throughout the day. That's why a gentle cleanser like this one can really help. Plus if you're a dry skin type and you do want to use a cleanser in the morning you can definitely opt for this one because it's not stripping it doesn't leave your skin feeling taut. With that being said this is definitely a luxury purchase. It costs about $25 for a cleanser that doesn't really remove makeup or sunscreen too well. If you wear makeup very often, you might want to look for a cleanser that actually does the job for you. In that case, I would recommend Haru Haru Wonders Gel Cleanser. I think that's from their Black Rice line. This cleanser is really meant for those with sensitive skin types, and I'm talking like super sensitive skin types, who gets irritated very easily with any types of surfactants. In terms of how this emulsifies, 
it doesn't. It kind of stays in that very liquidy, almost like slick texture throughout your cleansing process. Just like the name says, it stays in this gel consistency until you lather it, or I shouldn't say lather because it doesn't really lather up, until you apply it on your skin and then that's when it turns into this water texture. Very cool stuff, but it does not foam up. It does not emulsify. So for those of you who feel like you need that emulsification, is that the word? I feel like that's the word, right? Then you might want to stay away from this one. Over Overall, I am rating this cleanser a B minus. It's good, but it's not something that you need. Again, luxury purchase here. The price is a bit too much for a super gentle cleanser, and I mean that with emphasis on the word super. Very, very gentle to the point where it doesn't really remove a lot of things except for the surface gunk and impurities and pollutants. This is the Celis Mist Toner. First thing I noticed about this toner is that the mister gives me a very even and very fine spray. You would be surprised by how many bad misters I've come across over the past couple of years. Packaging wise, this is easily an A+. This is so easy to toss into your bag, carry around with you every day. But of course, if you are applying this outdoors, make sure you're in an area where there's no wind because otherwise you're just wasting your product. I feel like that's common sense, but I feel like that's also something I need to remind people of sometimes. It has the usual hydrators, we can find in most toners, panthenol, sugarcane extract, glycerin. What I found to be a bit concerning with this product is that it has a bunch of essential oils. Personally, I don't mind essential oils at all. I feel like it's inevitable to have essential oils in skincare products nowadays. Of course, then there are brands that take away essential oils and like problematic ingredients completely. Lagome does not do that. And I also know that a lot of you prefer not to have essential oils in your skincare products because a lot of you guys are sensitive skin skin types. So for those of you who don't like essential oils, you might have to sit this one out. In terms of hydration, it's not as hydrating as I would like it to be. I feel like that's a missed opportunity because with a great mister, you would think that your products should be hydrating because it gives you this beautiful even spray and it just falls flat because it's not as hydrating as it should be. Skin 1004's Misty Cloud Toner, I think that's what it's called, is actually a lot better and it doesn't have essential oils. Recently, I discovered APLB's Mist Toner. Wait, no, it's a Mist Essence, sorry. It's a Mist Essence. That one is super affordable. It has a great mister and it is super hydrating. For those of you who don't mind the essential oils, I feel like this Mist Toner by Legome is a great option for combination skin types. Overall, I would give this Mist Toner a B solid B. I liked it, I had a pleasant experience using it, but I would rather go for something more affordable and hydrating. Legomes Celis Aqualane Solution is probably their most expensive product. Last time I checked, this thing costs $44. It's called the Aqualane Solution, so a lot of people don't really know what the heck it is, like what kind of category does this fall into? So I would actually categorize this as an essence or a light serum. This is formulated with Legomes patented Aqualicia, which is a mix of hydrators and squalane. To be very honest, I feel like squalane isn't exactly something that's groundbreaking, at least not anymore, but it is the only ingredient in this product that stood out to me as something that's worth spending money on. And that's quite alarming because for $44, I'm just getting, what, squalane and some hydrators? I would expect something more like ginseng for its antioxidant properties and being a great hydrator. But the beauty of this essence or light serum is actually the texture and how smoothly it sinks into my skin. The texture feels like a light oil. Unfortunately, this product is also packed with essential oils which I think in this case, it does feel a bit suffocating on my acne prone skin compared to the mist toner. The essential oils in this is actually a bit thicker and heavier. Luckily, this essence or this light serum also contains tocopherol, which helps reverse UV damage. I am rating this Aqualane Solution a B plus. Take away the essential oils, it's automatically an A minus or even an A. I really wanted to love this product a lot, but as much as I try to love it, I could not find any justifiable reasoning for the price. Finally, their moisturizer. I'm excited to tell you about this mild moisture cream because I feel like this is my favorite Lagone product 
ever. I am actually shocked by how much I ended up loving this moisturizer. And I say that because I started using this back in 2021. And at first I was like, oh, it's a little bit too thick. I feel like I'm just breaking out from it because it's just so heavy on my skin. But as I kept using it, I was like, wait, I think my skin loves this. I cannot explain why, but my skin just loves this moisturizer so much. First of all, for those of you who cannot use shea butter in any kind of products, this one is not for you. Shea butter is actually one of my favorite occlusive ingredients in skincare because it does help lock in that moisture. Granted, if and only if it is formulated right. You guys already know that my favorite moisturizer of all time is Pyongkang Yul's Moisture Cream. But that's been debatable lately because I've tried the Isn't Tree aqua, what's it called? Aqua water cream. That one I really liked as well. But the Pyongkang Yul Moisture Cream also uses shea butter as their base ingredient. This product feels just like that moisturizer, but bundled up in a pump bottle. It is super convenient, and one pump is actually more than enough for my entire face. And let's be real, I have a big head, I got a big face, and if this is more than enough to cover my big face, it is more than enough to cover your faces. So I keep saying that I was surprised by how much I love this moisturizer. One, it's because I didn't think that I would appreciate this type of texture. It is a little bit thicker than the moisture cream by Pyongkang Yul, but still very similar. But reason number two is that it actually contains a lot of things I don't like in skincare. For example, essential oils. And it even has witch hazel. These are kind of like my beige salmon colored flags. They're not exactly red flags, but I prefer not having them over having them any day. But it's not something that would break the deal. You know? Remember how earlier I said that when I first used this product, I thought it was going to break me out and then it didn't? I think it's actually because it's formulated with Centella Asiatica and Beta Glucan, which are ingredients that really help soothe the skin. So I feel like having these ingredients in it balances out the bad ingredients that's also in the product. I don't know if that logic makes sense to anyone. It does for me at least. But of course, if you are super sensitive, hyperactive, hyperactive? hyper reactive to essential oils, fragrance, and witch hazel, then yeah, stay away from this moisturizer. The texture is beautiful. I feel like the texture is what ended up making me love this moisturizer even more. It's definitely more on the creamier side, but it spreads very easily. Especially if your skin's already damp and your palms already damp, then yeah, it is a smooth sailing application process. This is definitely a fall slash winter kind of moisturizer. It can be too thick or dense for summer use. Overall, like I said, I am very pleased with this moisturizer, so it's getting an A from me. A plus if it didn't have fragrance and essential oils, of course, and witch hazel. If there is any product that I would actually spend money on at Legome, it would be this moisturizer. This is Legome's newest sunscreen. It is the Celis Sun Gel Plus. This is a chemical sunscreen with the latest, hottest, organic UV filter technology. I enjoyed using the sunscreen, but it's a bit boring. I was hoping that this sunscreen would be a lot more hydrating and light on my skin. And then throughout the day, I noticed that my eyes were a bit more dry, like something was dragging down my eyelids. It also left my skin feeling and looking greasy about a few hours into wearing it. And it wasn't even like that healthy glow or that shine, it was just straight up grease ball. I was thinking about wearing this today while filming this video, but I thought maybe I should not because then my face would just serve as a reflector or like a light bounce board. Luckily, there was no light cast with the sunscreen, so all skin tones can use this sunscreen worry-free. But if you're looking for a hydrating sunscreen, I would actually recommend Round Labs Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen or Isn't Trees Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. For now, I am going to rate this sunscreen an A-. It's still new, so I feel like Legome has time to readjust and then relaunch it. I did enjoy using it, but of course, like I said, it's not hydrating enough, and I can actually find a sunscreen that is more affordable that is hydrating and probably won't cause my eyes to feel dry or feel dragged down throughout the day. That is all for this video. Ultimately, I enjoyed most of Legume's products throughout this trial process, but like I said earlier, their products are very costly. I would say go for the moisturizer if you want to splurge a little, treat yourself a little, or if you have some extra cash for your skincare routine. Everything else is pretty average in my opinion, and I feel like they don't really deserve to be placed in that kind of price bracket, but that's just me. You can disagree all you want. As usual, I will leave these products links in the down bar below 
below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. But until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. I mean it. Annyeong, come back for more. Chu say yo, chu say yo, chu say yo.